us go exactly at seven. I have, I have like 20 seconds. Oh, hi, everybody. <laughs> okay. Hi, hi. Yeah. 
Welcome to TBT in Fullerton, whether you are here in person, whether you are joining us on Zoom, on Facebook, on YouTube, or on our website. We are so glad you're here to celebrate Shabbat with us. We will be starting our service with bringing light into our lives and into our sanctuary. I invite you to if to turn your Sidurim, your prayer books, to page 120 if you have them. Otherwise, you can follow along on the screen, and I will ask Gabrielle to light the candles for us. Shabbat Shalom. You can turn to your window or your neighbor to the left and to the right and say Shabbat Shalom. And Shabbat Shalom, Andrew. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. And a wave. We turn to page 130 for Lehu Niranana. Let us sing in joy. Lehu Niranana.
page 134, Zamru Ladonai, sing praise to Adonai with all kinds of instruments, including our voices. Zamru Ladonai, out our psalms with psalm 29 on page 136 these more le david ever been to Israel and you visited the ancient city of Sfat, you know that it is an artist's colony. And if you walk through the narrow streets of the city, you can hear the sounds of Shabbat as they start to arise. There's a little synagogue in the city that has artistic inlaid glass and marble, all kinds of beautiful things. 
and there's a small bullet hole in one of the walls where somebody avoided being hit by bowing just as the bullet came through. We welcome Shabbat by thinking of her as, as a bride dressed in white. And if you've ever gone to camp, you know that sometimes on Shabbat, the campers wear white. A chadodi, an acrostic written by Shlomo Halevi Alkabetz, who was from Svat in the 16th century. We turn our Sidurim to page 138 for Luchado D, thinking of that Shabbat bride. And when we get to the last verse, Boiva Shalom, we will rise either physically or symbolically and face our doors as if to welcome the Sabbath bride. Luchado D. Luchado D.
on Zoom, Facebook, and YouTube may not be able to see it, but we actually had two brides walk in at the right time. Yes. Welcome. Shabbat Shalom once again. We are so glad you are here to celebrate Shabbat with us. We round out our Kabbalat Shabbat before the Aravit service with Mizmor Shir, Psalm 92. Mizmor Shir, Le'yom HaShabbat Tov Le'odot Adonai Ol'azamer Neshim Kabbalat Shabbat from Arvit with Chatzi Kaddish, which can be found on page 144. <laughs> One hundred forty-six. You may be seated. On page 149, we read together, Praise to you, Adonai, our God, from whom the evening flows. Your wisdom sets the way on which time and season glide. Your breath guides the sail of the stars, creator of the tide of time and light. You guide the current of day into night. As heaven spans to infinity, you set its course for eternity. Praise to you, Adonai, our God, from whom the evening flows. Baruch Ata Adonai, Hama'ariv Arabim. We consider from the physical to the spiritual, from the day and the night 
to all that rests within our souls. God's love is everlasting and is given to us freely by teaching us Torah and mitzvot, laws and precepts. Day and night, we reflect on all of that, for they are our life, and doing them lengthens our days. O oh God, never remove your love from us. Praise to you, Adonai, who loves your people, Israel. Baruch Ata Adonai, O Hevamod Yisrael. Amen. We turn inwards and consider God's oneness, God's uniqueness, all that is God that becomes us, and we then reflect back out into the world. Shema Continue with the Ahapta, page 154. <speaking in Hebrew> היום הלבבך בשיננתם לבניך בריבת אבם בשבתך בביתך ובלכתך בדרך ובשוך בך וקומך וקשתם להוט על ידך והיו לתותפות בין עיניך וכתבתם על מזוזות ביתך ובשעריך. למען תזכרו ועשיתם את כל מצוותי ואיתם כראשים לאלוהיכם. אני אדוני אלוהיכם אשר הוצאתי אתכם מארץ מצרים לחיות לכם לאלוהים, אני ירון אלוהיכם, אמת, ירון אלוהיכם, אמת. Standing on the parted shores of history, we still believe that what we were taught before ever we stood at Sinai's foot, that wherever we go, it is eternally Egypt, that there is a better place, a promised land, that the winding way to that promise passes through the wilderness, that there is no way to get from here to there except by joining hands, marching together. Nichamocha, page 158. <laughs>
sun goes down, we turn towards the oncoming night. Some of us feel more secure with that darkness. Others of us are uneasy when the sun goes down, not knowing what to expect until the morning ahead. So we ask God to shelter us in a canopy of peace, a sukkat shalom, so that we may be protected overnight, that we may awaken to renewed life and strength. We turn to Hashki Benu on page 160. you to rise for the tefillah, a moment of consciousness in which we address the words to our ancestors, to those of the past, present, and future. You can follow the text on the pages or take a moment to have a private conversation with God. Page 164. Please rise.
May the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable, Adonai, my rock and my redeemer. O se shalom be mamav, hu ya se shalom, aleinu ve al kol Yisrael, ve al kol Yishvei Tevel, imru amen. Amen. May the one who makes peace in the high heavens make peace for us, for all Israel and all who inhabit the earth. And we say, Amen. amen. We end our tefillah with the words of the Misha Berach, prayer for healing, those in need of physical, spiritual healing, those suffering from addictions, those who are in mourning and need comfort. If there's a name that you would like to bring into our sanctuary, I invite you to mention your loved one's names. there's a name on our social platforms, you may put those in the chat box as well. We join together with the words of the Misha Berach on page 371. all those in need a refua shlema a complete and speedy return to health amen shabbat shalom one more time it's good to see all of you whether you have been traveling whether you have been at home whether you're planning to travel as some here are. It's good to be together for Shabbat. As we approach this Shabbat parashat shoftim, the word shoftim meaning judges, we find ourselves in the middle of the ten Shabbat Torah portions in Deuteronomy in the fifth book of the Torah. Shoftim is number five. According to the structure of Deuteronomy that is outlined in our Torah commentaries, Parshat Shoftim is included in the third section, which is the middle section. Of the 959 verses in the entire book of Deuteronomy, the middle verse is in this Torah portion. We seem to have converged upon the center of our text. And indeed, for many... The subject matter of Parshat Shoftim can and should be at the core of who we are as Jews. The subject is justice. 
We read in Deuteronomy 16.20, Sedek, Sedek, Tirdof, Justice, justice shall you pursue. This is a loud, clear call to definition and purpose, a clarification of our uniqueness, and an articulation of our responsibility to make that uniqueness manifest in the world. The idea that justice is at the center of who we are as Jews has been voiced and confirmed by many. Rabbi Abraham Joshua Heschel famously taught, Judaism is spiritual audacity. We must insist that life involves not only the satisfaction of selfish needs, but also the satisfaction of a divine need for human justice and nobility. Who is a Jew? A person whose integrity decays when unmoved by the knowledge of wrong done to other people. Rabbi Sidney Schwartz argues that our relationship with justice is grounded in our original covenantal understanding with God. He contends that Abraham truly became the father of the Jewish people when he heeded God's call to adopt a sacred purpose, spreading righteousness and justice throughout the world. In referencing the story of Sodom and Gomorrah, Rabbi Schwartz is emphasizing God's own definition of Adam's uniqueness, to teach his children and those who come after him to keep the way of the eternal, doing what is right and just, so that the eternal may fulfill for Abraham all that has been promised him, to be as the stars in the sky. The most recent statement of principles of Reform Judaism, adopted in 1999 in Pittsburgh, confirms the centrality of justice, tzedek, to the core of our identity as Jews. That statement reads, we are obligated to pursue tzedek, justice, and righteousness, and to narrow the gap between the affluent and the poor to act against discrimination and oppression, to pursue peace, to welcome the stranger, to protect the Earth's biodiversity and natural resources, and to redeem those in physical, economic, and spiritual bondage. In so doing, we reaffirm social action and social justice as a central prophetic focus of traditional Reform Jewish belief and practice. The ideals and configurations to implement those ideals, which constitute this week's Torah portion, undoubtedly reflect the very heart of our Jewish self-understanding and are therefore appropriately placed at the center of Deuteronomy's narrative. Structure and substance aligned in common understanding. Against the backdrop of this overriding sense of justice as our core, as our center, and as the nucleus of our communal distinctiveness, Parshat Shoftim also is flooded with other thoughts around the idea of the importance of the middle. The text repeats the word bekerev in the midst of no fewer than 10 times in various grammatical iterations. For instance, thus you will sweep out evil from your midst. From among your own people, the eternal our God will raise up for you a prophet like myself. Or do not let the guilt for the blood of the innocent remain among your people Israel. While the, the straightforward meaning of this word is among, or in the middle of, metaphorically, this particular word also has a deeper meaning. The word bekerev in Hebrew comes from the root that means to approach or to draw close. The Hebrew word for sacrifice, korban, comes from this word too, which means to bring closer to God. 
But in its noun form, the word can actually mean inside the human body, within us, or at our core. The constant repetition of this word invites us to consider not only our external structure of justice and balance in the world, but also our internal, personal balance. This year, Parshat Shof team coincides with the fourth week that we read Haftarot of Consolation and the beginning of the second of four weeks in the Jewish month of Elul. This timeline places Parshat Shof team in the middle of two additional structures, a progression of words that emphasize comfort and encouragement and a progression of time during which we are urged toward profound in introspection and honesty. Throughout the combination of these sequences, we examine our internal balance. We welcome the words of the Haftarot that both soothe and bolster us. And we face the task of rooting out the characteristics and predispositions that cause us to misstep. The consistent repetition of the Karev in Parashat Shoftim reminds us to consider our middle, our inner selves, and realign our balance. From our midst comes both the best and the worst of ourselves. So as we immerse ourselves in a common understanding of our core purpose, as we strive to heed that call to justice and embrace our task to pursue it, may we also remember that our light out into the world shines from within, deep in the midst of our being. Shabbat Shalom. Our service continues with the Alenu, page 586. Please rise in body or spirit. <laughs> Now take a moment to bring to mind those whose days on earth have ended, those in days re more recent and those in years past. If you are in the first seven days of mourning, I invite you to rise and share your loved one's names with us, or you may write them into the chat boxes. If you are in the first 30 days of mourning, Please join in. If you are in the first year of mourning, I invite you to rise. And if you are observing a yort site, oh, I'm sorry. Kay. Yes. Jonathan Kazin. And if you are observing a yort site this week, I invite you to rise and mention your loved one's name. Are there names in the chat boxes to be mentioned? Thank you. We will also take
take a look at those after the service. And if it is your custom to rise and join our mourners to support them, I invite you to do so and join us on page 598 as we join our mourners with the Mourner's Kaddish. Yitgadal v'yit kadash shemei rabba ve'almadi v'rach yirutei v'yamlech machutei v'chayechon uv'yomechon v'chayei d'chol v'yit Yisrael v'agala uv'izman kari v'imru amei yehe shemei rabba m'varach le'olam u'almei amaya yitbarach v'yishtabach v'yit pa'ar v'yit romam v'yit nasei Vit Hadar, Vit Alev, Vit Halal, Shemei de Kudusha, Brichu, Leela mi Kol Birchata, Vishirata, Tush Bechata, Venechemata, the Amiran, the Alma, the Imru Ame, Yehe Shalama Rabba, mi Shamaya, Vechaim Alenu, Velko Yisrael, the Imru Ame, Ose Shalom, Bim Romab, Hu Ya Ase Shalom. Aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael v'imru. Amen. May the one who sends peace send peace to all who mourn and comfort to all who are bereaved among us. And we say, Amen. You may be seated. Before we conclude with the Kiddush and a closing song, just a couple of announcements. Number one, please remember that our services, our Friday evening services now begin at 7 p.m. except for the third Friday, which is our family service. And we're back in person. And we are in Woo! person. And we look forward to having you join us if you are able in our sanctuary. The air conditioning is on. Oh, boy, howdy is it on. <laughs> Also, please take a look in your tidbits or the Friday announcements for all High Holy Day information. The High Holy Days begin with Slichot, which takes place on September 17th. There are family-friendly opportunities as well as adult opportunities. Uh, we will be serving dinner. We will have our men's club sponsored ice cream social. There will be an adult program both here at Temple Beth Tikva as well as part of the Jewish Collaborative of Orange County It'll at be Beth after Annette. our program. Afterwards, after uh, absolutely. Our program. Oh, yes. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> and we, mar we want to uh -huh. wish Mark <laughs> a Nesia Tova, yes. a safe, safe travel. travel to the Arctic. He leaves tomorrow with Joan and... Wow. And the Freilix. And, the Freilix. and, who and, and they're, he's hoping they come we back. We hope so as well. In <laughs> good health, please. <laughs> so we turn to page 123, <coughs> 22, 23 for Vayahulu and Kiddush. If you have your Kiddush cup with you, where's Mark? There you are. And there it is. <laughs> That's just a little bit of wine. I would raise your Kiddush cup and join Gabrielle with Vayahulu and Kiddush. Vayirev vayivoker yom hashishi Vayilchu ha-shemayim ve'aretz v'chol tzva'am Vayichal Elohim bayom ha-shvi'i Melechto asher asa Vayishbot bayom ha-shvi'i Miko melechto asher asa Vayivarech Elohim et yom ha-shvi'i Vayikadish oto Kivu shavat miko melechto Asher bara Elohim nasot Baruch atadonai Eloheinu melech ha-olam Bore peri hagafen, Baruch atadonai Eloheinu melech ha-olam, Asher kiddushanu b'mitzvota v'ratavahanu, V'shabbat kodsho b'ahava uvratzon hinchilanu, Zikaron ma'ase v'reshit, Ki hu yom t'chila l'mikra e'kodesh, Zechel tziyat mitzrayim. Ki vanu v'charta v'otanu kidashta mikol amim. 
ושבת קודשך באהבה וברצון הנחלתנו. ברוך אתה אדוני מקדש השבת. לחיים. לחיים. That was good. Can't go wrong with Manashevitz, can you? There you go. Earlier in the service, when Gabrielle was chanting the Hashkivenu, we read, we sang the words, Ushmor tzetenu uvoenu. Those words mean that we ask God to guard us in our going and our coming. And so on this Shabbat, we ask God to shmortetenu uvoenu. May God bless our going and our coming from this time forth and forever. We close our service with sanctuary. Wishing you a Shabbat Shalom. Shalom, Shalom everybody. everybody. Have a great week. We hope to see you here tomorrow morning. Come to our own end, please. We invite you to just hop in that car and join us. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, everyone.